All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Los Angeles Lakers Daily. Today we have a tr proposed trade for Miles Turner. I think Miles Turner, I think every single Laker fan on the planet would agree this man would make the Lakers so much better. This season, he's putting up 13 points per game, 7 rebounds. 2.9 blocks while shooting 51.4% from the field, and then an efficient 35% from downtown. So in this proposed trade, the Lakers, they receive Miles Turner, who keep in mind, he's got two years left on his contract. So right now, Indiana, they're trying to kind of just unload any asset, any profitable asset that they have right now. Who knows if these guys actually end up getting traded. Miles Turner's been in the trade market in trade rumors for like the last three trade deadlines. But keep in mind, this man is on the books for the next two seasons. So the Lakers, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, they'd be able to, you know, it's not just like an expiring one-year contract. So in this trade, they're giving up DeAndre Jordan, Kendrick Nunn, Talon Horton Tucker, and a 2025 first round pick. So the good news is, for Miles Turner and the Lakers, he's a super, super elite rim protector. Three blocks per game, a little under three blocks per game. This man has done it every season of his career. Can Miles Turner stay healthy? You know, you, you, you could argue that is a risk you are taking, but you're going to have to take a risk like this, man. If the Indiana Pacers, if their front office, if their management would actually take a trade consisting of DeAndre Jordan, Kendrick Nunn, Talon Horton Tucker, and a future first-round pick that's in like five years, four years from now, you have to do that trade. You have to do that trade. The bad news for the Lakers is Miles Turner has already come out and said, as it feels like almost every player, guys like Jeremy Grant, all these dudes are coming out and saying they want to be a major piece to a team. But, you know, Miles Turner, at this point in his career, man, you know, it's not like he's old. He's only 25 years old. I feel like playing two years on the Lakers, win a championship, LeBron gets everybody paid. Go to L.A., enjoy your life in L.A. as opposed to Indiana. No disrespect to Indiana, but living here in Chicago it cannot be better than this. It's freezing cold. Go to L.A., move your family to L.A., have a good time, play in the spotlight. Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, Anthony Davis. And then two years from now when you hit the open market, first off, it's not even like he's being paid bad right now. You'll get an even bigger bag, and you'll have possibly, hopefully for Miles Turner, a young team with a lot of potential who's willing to hand this man a lofty contract for a handful of years. So I think Kendrick, or I think uh, Miles Turner really profits in this trade. The only unfortunate thing is, is Indiana really interested in Kendrick Nunn? Are they really interested in DeAndre Jordan? Ooh, probably not. You know, probably not, but are they interested in Taylor and Horton Tucker? Well, that kind of still remains to be seen, but my best guess is yes. So that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit that sub button, drop a comment down below if you would accept this trade. Miles Turner for DJ, Kendrick Nunn, THT, and a future first round pick.